All right. So we have a lot of different AI tools that is capable enough to convert a simple text prompt into a complex mobile application or web application. Now, how cool will it be if you can just give a Figma design file and ask the AI to convert it into a website and the AI does it in no time. And the best part, the website not only convert it into the design of a website, but also make it fully functional. You can add authentication, databases, backend stuff, you know, API routes and all that and make a fully functional website just from a Figma file. So if that's what you're after in this video, I'll exactly show you how you can do that. And without wasting further ado, let's jump straight in. All right. So this right here is lovable.dev and I have featured this AI tool a lot of times in this channel and this is one of the best AI coding platforms out there and recently the team went ahead and introduced a new feature where you can go ahead and design a website or a web application in Figma and with the press of a button you can turn that design into a fully functional code and make a full stack application in no time. So the first thing that you're going to do is to go ahead and sign up for a new account at lovable.dev which I hope you already have. And the next thing that you're going to do is to go ahead and open a Figma design file. Now here I have a basic Figma design file of an e-commerce store page and in this video I'm trying to recreate or let's say convert this particular Figma code into a website. So this is a basic one. So depending on your use case you might have already created a Figma file right. You can go ahead and open it up and for best results the team recommends you set it to auto layout feature. So if you set it to auto layout you will get the best result out of it. And the next thing that you gotta do is to head over to the website called builder.io and sign up for a new account and once you're logged in you will find an option that will help you to add the builder.io plugin to Figma. So you can click on this option that says get Figma plugin and go ahead and add this plugin to your Figma, you know, so I have already added the same. Now, once you have this builder.io plugin installed and added to your Figma account, and you also have to go ahead and connect it to your Figma account. And once the whole process is done, if you click on this plugins option right here, you will find the builder.io plugin right here. So I'll first go ahead and select the particular design that I want to convert or more like the page. So in this case, this is the home page of this e-commerce store that I want to convert into code. So I'll go ahead and select it. And now I can click on this option and click on the builder.io and it says AI powered Figma to code. And all you got to do is to select the export mode. So we have two options right here, easy and precise. And to get the best results, the team recommends that you set it to auto layout and select this option that's called precise. So if your design is not in auto layout, you can go ahead and select easy. But for now, I'll keep it as precise. And all you got to do is to click on this export to code button. And now the builder.io plugin will go ahead and start analyzing the Figma file and go through individual components and layers and start converting it. And finally, it will give us the option to open it up in lovable.dev. And as you can see, it says it is success. And you can you also find an option that says open in lovable. Now, once the conversion process is done, all you got to do is to click on this open in lovable uh, button right here. And it will start analyzing the code and it will create this project. And with the press of a button, you can open Lovable and start working with the project. So let's wait for it to complete. And now as you can see, your project is ready to launch. And all you gotta do is to click on this launch project option. And it will go ahead and open the same in lovable.dev. And it will go ahead and convert that into code. So let's wait for it to load. And as you can see, we have this e-commerce website homepage loaded up in here and we have all these images. Now these images are not of high quality. That is why you see it as pixelated. But in which ways we have the entire layout in here, right? So this is the Figma file. Wait for a second. Okay. So this is the Figma file that we wanted to convert to code. And I would say it is almost like, you know, 80 to 90% accurate. And from here on, you can go ahead and target individual elements and start customizing the page as you like. For example, I could go ahead and select, let's say this option right here. And maybe I could go ahead and let's say, uh, select this navigation bar and I can go ahead and say change the background color of the nav bar to blue with white text and also add some drop down menu items to the options on the nav bar right so this is the prompt and I can hit enter and now the AI will go ahead and make changes to the header right here so let's wait for it to load and now it's done and as you can see the background is now blue and if I hover over this one 
I mean, if I click on these options, we have this drop down menu with a couple of options. And this way you can go ahead and incrementally start adding new features to the project. All right. So if you want to, you can go ahead and add authentication. Right now we have dummy products in here. So you can go ahead and replace with the original products and take it up from here. And one more thing to keep in mind is that uh, the integration with Figma is not 100% accurate or exactly like what you would see in here. There will be some imperfections and all that. And the plugin is able to get almost 80 to 90% of things correctly. And the extension will make some mistakes and the team is currently building and is in development process and the best thing that you can do is to take it as a reference point or starting point and you can go ahead and go start fixing it in lovable okay so every time you create a project there will be like some imperfections you can go ahead and select the select tool select that particular element and target it and you can go ahead and give the text prompt and have the AI fix it for you so that's the best way to use this figma to code option within lovable as of now and now this right here is yet another e-commerce desktop home page and here i have selected the same and again i'll go ahead and open up builder.io and this time around since it is an auto layout i'll go ahead and select the precise option click on export to code and wait for it to do the processing so let's wait so it's done so i'll go ahead and click on the open in lovable account again wait for a few while all right so there you have it so i'll go ahead and click on the launch project option and now it will create a new lovable project and convert the figma file into code and i can't wait to see the results so let's wait all right so this right here is the e-commerce home page and this is what it is like and the images are not of high quality and also we have a lot of broken images for some reasons but yeah, this is a great starting point and you can go ahead and start making changes from here and take it up from here. So as you saw, this is how simple it is to convert a Figma file into a fully functional website or a app using the builder.io plugin and also lovable.dev. And again, do keep one thing in mind that this is not 100% accurate or foolproof. The AI will make mistakes and also the AI will have a hard time getting something correctly. So all you gotta do is to go ahead and reiterate and ask the AI to fix all the imperfections that you have and you'll be able to take it up from there. So hope you guys found this video useful. If yes, make sure to subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.